last, and the last thing I want to do with custom materials is show you how to create a bump map. What you saw the bump map was this image here. Okay, so it's really a black and white version with um, the shading being the darker. And so we're going to actually use Photoshop for this. I think most photo editing software will have this ability, but I prefer to use Photoshop. And I'm going to open up my stone wall Rocky Mountain um, material. And so this is in your sample files. If you don't have it, just download something off the internet that's, that's usable and you can follow along. So what you want to do is the first thing, I'm going to save this as a new name so I don't overwrite the other one. I'm going to call this Bump Live. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. So it's Alt, Shift, Control, B if you really want to use the keyboard shortcuts. But we're going to click Black and White, and you're going to see right away it's going to create a black and white image. So we're getting where we need to be. And sometimes, depending on the image, if there's a lot of one color or a lot of another, you can actually slide some of these adjusters in Photoshop and start getting your bump map already set up. Because ideally, it's not going to change some of the shadow. So if you were to slide some of these to the right, you'll notice that the image, if I go from preview, the image gets a little bit lighter. And so remember, the idea is that we want to create a big contrast between shadow and, and light. So that's good enough for now. I'm going to click OK. So now we have a black and white image. And the next thing I do is I just go to Levels, which is Control-L in Photoshop, or if you go to Image Adjustments Levels. And then what you want to do here is, if you use the uh, eyedropper, they have a sample uh, to white point, which is the one all the way to the right. And this is in pretty much every version of Photoshop, um, even, even some of the older ones. What you're doing here is you're going to use this right eyedropper to set the white point, And you'll notice immediately as I click in more of the gray areas, it's actually going to start isolating some of the shadows. So I'm just clicking around to show you how it works. So I click around until I get to a point where I'm getting a pretty good contrast between the two. Like that's a pretty good point there. And then if you slide the midpoint, which is in the middle here, you can start really extracting some of those bumps. And so this works for pretty much any material. You might have to do a little, little bit more tweaking into the, the black and white and the levels, but for the most part, this will work for you. So I slide it to the point where I've got a nice white and a nice dark. So you can see how the bump is starting to get created. And then I'm just going to save that, and then that's what I can use in Revit. So that's how you can create a custom bump map from pretty much anything, any material you find online.